A lot of people tend to struggle with improvement and many people also just tend to not even create the most basic of trading packs or trading regimes that they can follow where they exercise specific mechanics to improve on them or even watch replays or things like that which involve analysis and reworking mistakes. That in this video will be explained upon and I will give you sort of the idea and the theory that you can put into practice when training or when at least trying to get into training for Rocket League and how to become the most effective you can become as a player and I guess elevate your ability to things you might have not thought were possible. I like this method a lot. The idea of finding your three biggest weaknesses means to look at your own style, your own playstyle. Look at your replays for this method specifically. Go into your replays, find three aspects which keep bringing you down and are costing you games. Don't look at every single weakness you have, look at three of your biggest ones. These are the ones that are keeping your rank down, essentially. Everyone has something that holds them back. You have something that holds you back. SSLs have something that holds them back. We all do. And the only way to get past this block, this barrier between ranks is to understand these mistakes and train past those mistakes. And what I mean by training past them is, for example, if your biggest issue is, for example, if we had to give one mechanic, let's say it's air dribbles. Air dribbles can be improved upon very, very quickly through training packs such as these on the screen. It's very simple. It's nothing too difficult, but to understand and I guess to formulate a good training plan, you need, you need to see what you need to train upon because you can't just get recommended every pack that people say is good and you just work on things that maybe aren't your biggest weakness. That's not how you should be training in Rocket League. You should be training based upon your biggest weaknesses and which areas you kind of suck at, to put it more bluntly. So, if, as I said, air dribbling or dribbling, for example, dribbling is a big one, is a big weakness in your 1v1s, find three dribbling trading packs for each weakness. So, you might be working on nine trading packs if you have three weaknesses, because three times three equals nine. Three, we three weaknesses, and for each weakness, you have three trading packs. That's the method I recommend for improving upon your weaknesses the very fast point I want to make in this video and now we're going to go on to another really important aspect of improving in Rocket League. Consistency in training is key and I'm not going to just say this in words, I'm going to put this in practice and for myself for example when I was trying to improve I was saying that I need to be spending an hour a day or even half an hour a day. You need to be spending the minimum half an hour because your brain essentially, especially in Rocket League, works off muscle memory things that you can do on autopilot are things that you've clearly worked upon a lot not everything is correct that you might do on autopilot but it means your brain has an understanding of what's going on which means that you can put this into practice into as i said mechanics that are your biggest weaknesses or into areas that you want to improve upon so developing a consistent training plan which involves doing three training packs a week or working on one training pack for three days that I think is something I recommended in my last videos as well. Get two or three trading packs that you really like. Work on them almost every day, if that's possible. Now, this could contradict my first point as well. I did say do three for each weakest aspect of your game. So that might be like nine trading packs. Try to put up those nine trading packs over a few weeks. Work on trading packs like they're actually like exercise for you. Don't pass through them like they're nothing because you will gain absolutely zero evidence of why you're lacking this area and you'll gain zero progress in the process of doing this so as i said consistency is key please i, I mean i mean this in the most important possible way i can emphasize this to you train 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 week by week you will see progress it's that simple not much more to it now i think the way to understand this point I'm trying to make in the video is that 1v1s have to be incorporated in a way that will benefit you in the long term. And what I mean by this is that not just spamming 1v1s because I said so or because pros say that you need to play a lot of 1v1s to improve, but when you learn something, for example, in training or in custom training, you are by yourself, right? You're not playing with teammates. And in that training, you're learning 
these core mechanics or whatever mechanics you're actually practicing something that is kind of in your muscle memory slowly day by day you're getting in your muscle memory once you get into that training routine outside of actually playing the game you know online get into 1v1s 1v1s is the best way to put these into practice 3v3s casuals or 2v2 casuals or comp team game modes aren't going to be the way for the first few weeks of training intensely so for a short period you should be focusing only on 1v1s but the way you should be going about 1v1s is thinking after the game is this replay worthy worthy so should i check the replay on this did i do something wrong if you think you did something very very wrong or there's something going on with your defense which really really made you lose the game essentially or even if you won but your defense was terrible go back look at it don't be afraid to save 1v1 replays as embarrassing as you might have been in the game it's good to see your mistakes because you get transparency between yourself and your car essentially if that's some sort of point i can make in this video you get to see kind of how you control and how would you react to different scenarios especially 1v1 because no one is there to save you in 1v1s there is very li little luck involved in 1v1s in comparison to 3v3s and 2v2s especially in 2v2s surprisingly because in 2v2s if you have an amazing teammate you can kind of 1v2 i mean i've seen it happen a lot and it's very hard to drag him down if he's that good of a player whereas in 3v3s one guy cannot drag a team of three of no two other really bad players so 1v1s is the only way to incorporate successful training routines and to see actually where your biggest weaknesses are. So this can also correlate to my first point in the video where you have to identify your three biggest weaknesses to improve in Rock League. And 1v1s will do that for you. Now another way to actually implement a good training program and to understand what you need to improve is seeing your overall progress in Rock League in the last 12 months or six months or even a month period, because that way you get to see, so for example, before I kind of elaborate further, you can see an RL tracker your stats more deeply, you can even get premium on RL tracker to see the more in depth, but I'm not sponsored by them, so I'm not gonna get in depth on that. The thing is, you need to understand where you're coming from. If you're at a period where you're ranking up consistently, you need to see and ask yourself why and how are you doing that? Are you too good for this level or are you doing the right things? And if you're doing the right things, you should continue doing them. If your level is very low and you're an adult, you're a scumbag. I'm kidding. But if you really do think your level, you're playing at a much lower level than you should, understand that more in depth. Why are you playing at a lower level? And why are you still at the same rank of 3v3s even though you think you're better than the others? That's different, right? That's different at conversation. But what I'm trying to say here is that you need to see where you're coming from. You need to see your background. Have you progressed at all? Have you declined? Has your rank dropped? If so, why is it declined? Ask yourself this, make notes even on this. Don't go over complicate things for yourself. Just very simply, while you're playing the game, speak to yourself, I don't know, in your head and say, so what am I doing wrong? Why am I still a diamond one? Why am I a plat? Why am I not progressing? There's very simple facts for you out there and I'm not the one just to give them to you. I've made a lot of videos on this kind of improvement topic, but this video is supposed to kind of provoke your thoughts in a way maybe that you've not thought before. And the whole idea is to understand your shortcomings and your failures, because your failures mean quite a lot in the long term. You can either learn from them or you can just continue ranking down. That's your choice. But to understand and to create a training routine, as we're trying to speak about really, this is about training and understanding that you need to improve through training. Well, the only way you'll actually make a good training routine is seeing how you're playing the game whether you're progressing whether you're regressing or whether you've plateaued all three require different approaches to training for example if your regret your regression is quite steep you know you're declining a lot in the game you're gonna need to do more intensive training that's very easy to understand you need to do a lot more training packs or focus on one big training pack which covers quite a lot of, of areas or another thing i could recommend to you for example is seeking i guess some help some free help coaching communities but specific coaching communities because quite a lot of them are kind of pyramid schemes so you need to be careful when you're finding coaches and you don't really want to be spending too much money on that that's something like a side thing but for another point 
in this topic I'm discussing of progression or regression or plateauing. If you've plateaued, change your approach again. You can't play or train the same way you've always trained. Change your approach, find out why you've plateaued through your own stats and oral tracker, through your own replays, through your own play style, and through your very basic like understanding of why you're not scoring a lot of goals. If you feel that you're not playing that well at your rank, seek out some help, you know? Train, 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 train. That's the moral of this video. And the only way to improve is by training consistently. And that's the only way to improve, really, in anything. 